Good morning. We are so excited to start off a new summer series of interviews where we sit down with some familiar faces across campus and get to know them and their faces and their stories a little bit better. I'm Abby Langford. Um, I'll be serving as the student chapel coordinator for LCU for the 2020-2021 year. I'm a junior biology major here at LCU. I'm from Lubbock, Texas. President McDowell, thank you so much for sitting down with us and letting us interview you. You're welcome. Thank you, Abby. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, I have some questions for you. All so right. I'd like to know what drew you to LCU? I know that you have a son who played basketball here, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what are your connections to the LCU community and what, what drew you to pursuing a position here? Well, I, I would say fundamentally the mission. I mean, the Christian mission, the idea of being Christ-centered. And that's always been a draw for me. I've known LCU for a long time. Uh, I've, I've probably aspired for about 20 years to be a college president. It was a thing I didn't start out to go for or to be a part of my life. Mm -hmm. It really had that uh, awakened in me when I was doing my doctoral work. And to see uh, a place like Love It Christian that we did get introduced to through our son and kind of fell in love with because of him and saw the community and love the ethos of this place. Sure. Pretty excited about it. Awesome. Um, I understand that at ACU, you were at, you were at ACU directly before LCU, mm -hmm. correct? And there you served as Vice President of Student Vice Affairs? Vice President of Student Life, yeah. Okay, so in that role, and how did what you did there affect um, how you approach your role here at LCU? Well, 90% 90, 90 of the students' time is spent outside the classroom. I think when you look at particularly Christ-centered higher education, the, the thing that makes us different, you expect things to be great in the classroom. I mean, if, if it's gonna be Christ-centered, it's gonna be better. That means you're gonna give yourself all in to something. Uh, but, but the outside the classroom experiences are the pieces that really differentiate you as a Christian university. Mm -hmm. And so those were the experiences that I, I was, uh, had responsibility for and leadership over. And so I think, uh, I think just creating community and fostering a sense of belonging and creating a place where, where people can really uh, be known and, and get to know others in deep and meaningful ways. And Very interesting. So do you feel that that experience gives you a more holistic mindset whenever you're approaching um, the inner workings of a university? I, I do think so in the sense that at the end of the day, it's all about students. I mean, <laughs> you know, this is about you. This is about helping our students discover who it is God created them to be. Mm -hmm. One of the questions that we like to ask people is, what do you nerd out about? Are there, is there a book series? Is there an author? Are there movies? What are the things that you like to go to in your free time? Well, I nerd out about a lot of things. I, I way too big into the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I know way too many statistics and way, way too much. Uh, Kate and I actually got to do the oxygen on the sideline for the Steelers versus the Falcons a few years ago. Wow. So we were on the on the sideline for the whole game and I'm I'm doing uh, one oxygen tank, Cade's doing the other one, and I'm sitting there as a grown man and thinking, I know way too much about every one of these guys that's here. <laughs> you know, Troy Palomalu, the guy with the hair, was right in front of me when the defense was in, Roethlisberger was in front of me when the offense was in, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm not supposed to talk to you because it's supposed to be all business, but you know, I'm sitting there again, this is, a, I, I feel like a stalker. I know too much about this guy, so I can nerd <laughs> out about great. the Steelers. Awesome, that's great. Because you've started at LCU in a way that doesn't involve quite as many students, you've been here kind of in an empty campus. Mm -hmm. What are you really excited for in the fall? Oh, I, I, wanna, I wanna get back to as much business as usual as you possibly can. I don't know, you know, what the new normal will be. We're all still trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I was talking to colleagues today uh, across the nation, uh, talking that through. And But I, I look forward to, I like forward to being in a chapel assembly. I mean, I think that'll be so rich and so mm -hmm. exciting. I look forward to, you know, having freshman orientation. I, you know, we were actually part of the, the prayer that the Bible department does outside. And, and just thinking about that, and again, what will, what will we be able to do? What will, will we not be able to do? Uh, but the more that we can be around people in whatever, uh, to whatever degree. I mean, I, my wife and son are in town this, this week uh, and we went out to lunch today. So it's, it seems strange to be sitting in a restaurant, but mm -hmm. we're sitting in a restaurant and it was just wonderful. I mean, just you get back to normal, but normal doesn't feel yeah, normal. Yeah. yeah. And, and appreciating the appreciating the opportunities, you know, 
I look forward to those little normal things. Yeah, me too. Over the course of the summer, we're going to get to sit down with a lot more people, so keep an eye out for more of these videos. Have a great summer.